With a population of 700,000 people, Bristol is the largest city in England to never have a team play in the Premier League. Today I'll be letting you know why you should be the manager that finally takes Bristol there in FIFA 22 career mode. Bristol City have made it to the top flight on two occasions. They had a decent spell before World War I broke out and a shorter one in the 1970s. The Robins came closest to a return in 2007, where they reached the playoff final before eventually being stopped by Hull City. They actually have a ridiculously good team for the championship on FIFA. While they might not have the highest rated squad in the league, all the attributes that their players have are in the exact places where you want them. You've got fast and strong defenders, you've got athletes at wing back who can get back and get forwards, and you also have lethal and rapid strikers. The challenge for you is simple. Can you get this potentially massive club back to where the fans think they belong? Bristol are amazing at using the loan market. It's one of the reasons they have got close to playoffs over the last couple of seasons. People like Tammy Abraham, Lewis Dunk and James Tavernier have all come in and lit the championship up. In real life, they aren't having the best season in 2022. They're comfortable for relegation, but in 19th place, Bristol City squad is packed with both high potential young players and familiar names for any English football fan, but maybe not the players who are at their peak right now able to perform. However, compared to previous seasons, they currently do actually have no players on loan. Like many teams in the championship, Bristol City have adopted a variation of the 5-3-2 formation and it really does suit the squad that they start off with on FIFA 22 really well. Daniel Bentley in goal is one of the best shot stoppers in the championship and his FIFA stats do match this. You absolutely don't need to strengthen the goalkeeping position because with dynamic potential he'll be good enough for the Premier League if you do manage to get promoted. The outside centre-backs, Pring and Callas, both have pretty good pace, especially for the championship, which is needed to cover the giant but slow Tim Closer, who plays in the middle. On wing-backs, you have Callum Aldauda and Jay De Silva, who are both absolutely ideal for a FIFA 22 wing-back. They both have a lot of pace, they've both got good technical stats, and they're both able to get up and down the wings. I don't feel it's an area you really need to strengthen, however neither of them are particularly amazing at defending. In the middle, you have your two highest potential players, Scott and Masengo. As neither are amazing defenders, you might want to push Scott into attacking midfield rather than having play deeper as a playmaker, so you might want to look at having players like Daniel Barlasa from Rotherham or Ben Thompson at Gillingham as short-term cheap options to sign temporarily for your defensive midfielder positions. At attacking midfield, Scott and Vyman are both the big options you have. They're both quick and they're both very technical, but realistically, you'll probably want Andy Vyman playing as your right striker. He has really good finishing and you don't want to let that go to waste with him playing too deep. Finally, to pair with Andy Vyman, you'll have Antoine Semeno, who is a proper FIFA striker. As a combination, Vyman and Semeo are both going to be really good. They've both got a lot of pace, they're both good at finishing, and they're both fairly tall. Your other option is Chris Martin, who, despite being okay in real life, probably isn't going to be good enough for you to use on FIFA 22. So you can see that you won't need too many transfers in your starting squad. Bristol City do start off with a transfer budget of £7 million, and I recommend spending at least £1 million on an upgrade at centre midfield, as I mentioned, and then use the other £6 million on a more FIFA-able central defender. You might want to look at someone with a bit of pace, maybe someone equally as tall, or get a low knee from the Premier League, because there are quite a few good options at centre-back you can get in. People like Tanganga might not be the most realistic, but he probably will be available for loan in the first season. Jared Braithwaite from Everton as well, or Charlie Cresswell from Leeds. They all have good potential, so maybe get them in on loan and see if you can get them in on a permanent after one season. Whatever money you can save by not spending it on your first team, of course, you should definitely be investing in getting the best youth academy in the southwest of England. The nearest cities are probably Cardiff and Swansea, but they'll be fishing in a different pool to Bristol. In the Premier League, the nearest team is Southampton and Bournemouth's the only other team in the area that play in the Championship, so you've got miles and miles of untapped potential. Big cities are in this kind of area as well, Plymouth, Exeter, Bath, they have quite a big potential. 
I would focus on scouting England, of course, with your youth academy and possibly maybe even France because you are fairly close to there and Wales as well. If you give yourself some two star scouts, then you'll keep a nice amount of realistic talent coming through because Bristol have had one or two good players coming through their youth academy in the past. So from here, you'll have a good youth academy, you'll have a good first team full of very FIFA capable players, and hopefully you'll be able to start climbing up the championship. I can definitely see it being possible that you manage to get into the playoffs in the first season. Winning them might be tough with some of the better teams in the league, teams like Bournemouth, uh, Sheffield United and Fulham, of course, all being very good on FIFA. So you're going to have to have a real challenge. If you spend your starting budget well, I think you'll be able to do it. But even if you don't, I feel like the second season with some good youth academy players and maybe some good lower league signings, you'll definitely be able to reach the top of the championship in season two. From then on, of course, it's to the Premier League and hopefully maybe eventually getting Bristol, the city, into its first ever European matches, which would be absolutely amazing for such a nice and such a large city to have a team of that level. If you're a Bristol fan or if you think that you want to do this save, please do let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear what players you signed or if you've got any tips for other people who want to try the save out, make sure you leave them below. If you feel like sending me a message, message me on Discord or on Twitter. I love to read every single one of them that you send me. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and like the video if you enjoyed any of the tips in this one. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video on the EFL coming out tomorrow. So keep tuned for that. Thank you and goodbye.